back to news and diary back to for children the Prince of Wales began the first full day of his maiden visit to Malaysia by touring the National Islamic Arts Museum with the ruler of the state of Perak, Sultan Nasrin Shah, the deputy Agong. The prince has a passionate interest in Islamic art and has been learning to read and write the language for around six years. His Royal Highness told the guests who included members of a number of faiths for me, ladies and gentlemen, this museum serves as a reminder of just how important it is that all societies are able to preserve and be proud of their cultural heritage. I am particularly delighted that the museum has such strong connections with my own school of traditional arts which itself aims to ensure that traditional arts and skills continue to enrich our changing world. The Prince of Wales then went on to meet young entrepreneurs, tech-savvy school children showcasing projects, and established businesses during his tour of WORQ a co-working space for startup companies. In the afternoon, His Royal Highness visited the University of Nottingham's Malaysia campus to open the Commonwealth Youth Summit, and received a very warm welcome big cheers for HRH from the students of it Yuan Malaysia as he arrives to help launch the Commonwealth Youth Summit, https.kofu7 Panksam, Clarence House at Clarence House 3 November 2017 Meanwhile, the Duchess of Cornwall completed her own set of engagements, first of all visiting the International School Park City. Here, Her Royal Highness toured the campus and officially opened the new building by signing a commemorative plaque. The Duchess then met students who were engaging in a creative writing workshop for the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition. In the afternoon, Her Royal Highness visited Permata Negara. The Permata programs were founded by the First Lady of Malaysia with the objective of providing a platform that enables children to achieve their potential through cultural learning. The Duchess met children who were decorating flower eggs and watched cultural performances by the students, the Prince and the Duchess together then went to meet the King of Malaysia. Their Royal Highnesses joined His Majesty the Yang Dipert Wanagong 15 Sultan Muhammad V at Istana Negara, his official residence. After a busy day of engagements, the day was rounded off with a gala dinner to celebrate 60 years of Ak Malaysia diplomatic ties. The dinner drew around 550 guests representing Malaysian politics, business, media and culture. Here, the Prince of Wales delivered a speech, which can be read in full below. Your Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, I cannot tell you how delighted my wife and I are to have been invited to visit Malaysia to celebrate the 60th anniversary of your independence and all the years of diplomatic ties between our countries that have followed. Both of us have long held a firm desire to visit your country, so this occasion is not only a very special moment for us personally, but is also a particularly special opportunity to celebrate the enduring ties between our people. Those ties, of course, go back a very long way and the friendship between us is so deeply rooted in our shared history. Our visit ends on Wednesday in Penang, which is, of course, where, 231 years ago, the long-standing history between our nations began. I gather that Penang was known for many years as Prince of Wales Island in the fact that it isnt the case any longer. I promise I will not take personally although my grandson, George, may possibly be cheered in due course by the name of its capital rather more poetically, though, I believe Penang was known as the Pearl of the Orient, so my wife and I are very much looking forward to discovering its charms for ourselves. Sixty years on from independence it is clear that very strong foundations of mutual respect and understanding were laid down when Malaysia became part of the Commonwealth with its shared principles, strong values and vision of a common future. Sixty years on, it is also clear that Malaysia now of read full speech.